Welcome back to our channel. You guys are watching Ryzen Spray Booth. And those who are new to this channel, let me tell you, my name is Ryzen. And I teach auto body and painting on this channel. And to learn this, you don't have to go anywhere. You can learn the process from the comfort of your home. Where you will learn how to set up your spray booth, how to mix the paints, how to spray the paint, how to spray the primer, from where you should be buying your paints, and to acquire a professional looking finish by learning the right steps of auto body and painting. You will get the link of the course in the description below. So in my last video, I had applied primer on the surface and in this video I will be starting with sanding of this primer because once I'm done sanding I can apply the base coat and clear coat on the panel so wherever you don't want your sander to touch see that you apply masking tape there and secure the spot otherwise by mistake you can take the paint off from another panel because I will not be painting the front door as I will be painting only the back door so now I will sand this entire air door but before that wherever I have applied the primer there I will make nice and flat first now if you guys have a guide coat here then you can use that here when you apply the the guide coat you can easily make out where is your high spot and your low spot so by knowing that you will know where to send more and where to send less so here i'm using a ds sander and on the panel i had applied a 2k second quality primer that's why it is not coming out that easily it is a very thick primer if you had used a local quality primer on this panel then that primer would have disappeared very easily and the body filler that you have applied that would start to show up now you cannot apply base coat directly on the body filler if by chance your body filler starts to show up then you will have to apply primer on top of it again and then you will have to sand the primer again and then apply the base coat. Now while shooting this video something strange happened. I was using the DS sander and I kept the DS sander on the side for a second. The airline which was connected to that DS sander that got disconnected. Now inside that pipe there is pressured air. So what happened here that you can see now. So immediately I ran and shut off the valve near the compressor. So guys even you can face this type of problem if by chance your airline gets disconnected from the west coupling then don't worry there is a shut off valve situated near the compressor you must run there and shut off that valve which will stop the air from flowing into the pipe. So here I have done little bit of hand sanding and if you come closer and have a look then you can see here there should not be any texture like this after sanding this you will have to flatten properly if you apply base coat and clear coat on this then you will not get a good finish and as you guys can see here my sandpaper has not touched this area at all. And if you come on top here then you will notice that it has become nice and flat so this type of finish you must acquire before you apply the base coat so again i will continue with my sanding process and i'm still using the ds sander here once my primer gets nice and flat i will stop sanding on the primer and i will start sanding in the spot where i have not applied the primer because i will be applying the base coat and clear coat on the entire door so the more flat i make it the better finish i will get so sand the surface properly and flatten it out totally here i have even taken out my door handle because if you don't take out the door handle then you can mess up your paint job there you might get runs or you might get orange peel because it becomes difficult when the door handle is there and you can mess the paint job because of that now if you want a good finish then you'll have to take it out me personally i want a good finish so i have taken it out so once you are done with the sanding you will have to take plastic like this and you will have to do masking for the entire car wherever you don't want your base coat clear coat or over spray to stick to on all those spots you will have to cover and do the masking properly because the better masking you will do the better finish you will get otherwise your over spray will settle somewhere later you will have to clean that then which will give you more headache so to avoid all these things do your masking properly once you are done with the masking take a wax and grease remover and wipe the door panel properly because if there is any wax grease grime on your door surface then this wax and grease remover will get rid of it once you are done wiping the surface with the wax and grease remover tack the surface down with a tack cloth and now your surface is ready to apply the base coat now mix your base coat and now wherever i have applied the primer on that spot only i will spray the base coat first done applying base coat on the primer i will again wipe the surface with a tech cloth and as you guys can see after wiping the surface down with a tech cloth how the overspray is pulled out by the tech cloth so once the flash time is up now i will apply my second coat and this coat i will be applying on the entire door but i will be applying one more coat as well that will be my final coat of base coat so here i am applying my second coat So 
here I'm done applying my second coat as well. Again I will take the surface and I will start to apply my third and the last coat of base coat. So here I'm done applying my last coat of base coat. Now I will put the clear coat inside of my spray gun cup because I will be applying the clear coat now. So guys, if you want to do your own paint jobs like this, if you want to do a touch up paint job on your vehicle, or if you want to paint your motorcycle, fridge, fan, or just about anything else, then this becomes a very important skill. Now many people do the mistake. What they do is they buy the tools first. They buy the wrong type of paint first. They buy the wrong type of spray gun. They buy the wrong type of compressor, which cannot be used for spray painting. And like this type, they do very expensive expensive mistakes and when they do expensive mistakes like this then in their mindset they think that they can't do this so my advice is learn the procedure first learn the process first learn all the steps and once you learn everything then little by little you can invest on the tools but the first important thing is to learn this skill properly and now you don't have to go anywhere to learn this skill you can learn it from the comfort of your home because i have created a step by step course on this it is an online course you can watch the videos again and again and master the skill first in your mind and then you can go ahead and invest on the tools so if you want to learn auto body and painting go in the description below and i have put a link of my course there you can go there and enroll yourself now i will see you guys on the inside so here i'm done applying one coat of my clear coat and here i'm applying the second and last coat of the clear coat if you want you can even apply three coats here that totally depends on you the more coats you apply the costing of your paint job will also increase so once i'm done applying clear coat on this door panel i am done with the paint job on this door so after some time i will take out the masking which is touching my paint job i will just pull it and put it on the side because otherwise if the clear coat gets dry completely then while taking out the masking you can even peel off the clear coat so to avoid that all the masking tips which are touching your paint job those you will have to take out now but you will have to be extremely careful here because you can't touch the clear coat now because it is still wet if you touch it then your thumb impression will come on it and you will ruin the entire paint job so you will have to be extremely careful while taking out the masking tips so i'm hoping that this entire series and this video was useful to you if you found this series and video useful then see that you like and share with your friends and family so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then bye and take care so come on now let's see the final shots of this door